inside this lecture we are going to discuss about margin and pairing what's the difference between margin and pairing so you can open your coordinator and uh, just save us this file to create a separate file just by giving the name margin dash pairing dot html and save this i'm going to remove all this extra tag from the body tag also from style tag because we are going to write a new code here css you can say margin and pairing pairing you can just save and preview the file on the browser css margin and pairing now i'm just uh, inserting a diff here diff start and diff close inside this this is about margin and pairing it's about margin and pairing you can save and refresh the web page it's about margin and pairing let's just use css internally so insert the diff tag then curly braces you can just define a width for this maybe 200 pixel and a height of 200 pixel you can just uh, apply a background color something like light green and save this come here and refresh so we have just a box here and now let's just apply a border border something of like three pixel solid red border save and refresh so as i told inside this class we are going to discuss about the margin and pairing first we are going to discuss about the margin so if you can focus here we have some default margin uh, in the left side on the top side also on the bottom and the right side but we cannot see from the bottom or right side but we can see here uh, on the left and on the right side you can just remove this default margin just inside your style tag you can insert a static sign or multiplication sign and inside this curly braces you can set the margin to zero pixel so this is just about default margin and refresh now you can see we don't have any default margin here so the second point you can just apply the margin uh, not here just outside of this here i want i mean here margin any pixel for example 20 pixel you want you want 10 pixel of margin you want 30 you want 100 pixel and refresh so we have just applied 20 pixel of margin from the top 20 pixel from the left from the bottom from the right so you can just increase or decrease the amount from here something like 50 pixel i want to apply or you want just 100 pixel save and refresh so this time we have just 100 pixel of margin from the top and from the left just right click go to inspect element for better result and inside the body tag we have div tag now you can see the amount of margin from the top we have 100 pixel from the left also let's just increase this here from the left also 100 pixel from the bottom and from the right so it will just work clockwise from the top from the right from the bottom from the just you can say uh, uh, left side so we have just applied 100 pixel of margin to all four sides and you can just to apply margin just like this also I'm just going to remove this and inside this you can say margin uh, from the uh, you can say just margin uh, just something like this margin top and i'm just going to make this duplicate or you can just write here margin dash right margin hyphen right why it is not working maybe there's some problem margin hyphen right 
margin top you can say just 10px margin from the right you can say just uh, from the right you want 20px of margin and you want some margin from the left also from the bottom or from the left something uh, like you can say just 300 pixel of margin from the bottom or you can say margin from the left also something like 200 pixel we have just applied at the difference margin from the different side on this one so you can just refresh here and you can see the changes here 10 pixel of margin from the top side 200 pixel of margin from the left 300 pixel of margin from the bottom side and you can just see the hover or the hover color uh, from here this is just 300 of uh, margin and this 20 pixel of margin from the right side because this just this box is floated left that's why we cannot see the margin on the right side but from the top you can see we have just a little bit less uh, margin or you can say margin is called space margin and pairing this just two way of different space inside css so like this you can just apply margin so this is just a long way you can just apply this also so you can say just margin uh, just 10 px 20 px just 30 px and maybe 400 px just like this so from the top from the right from the bottom from the left just save this and refresh now you can see 10 pixel from the top 20 pixel from the right 30 pixel from the bottom and 400 pixel from the right so this is the short way of using margin so there is one more thing i'm just going to remove this and save you can just come here and refresh i'm just going to remove these ones so by default this box is floated to the left so you can just use here float attribute you can say float right and left here is we can just use two value so this right you can just put the element to the left also by default it's on left and refresh but if you want to move this uh, div or this box in center so i'm just going to show you about that you can just say here margin left you can say auto the first way margin right auto auto so this box or this will div will come in center you can see just right click go to inspect element and just focus on the margin uh just inside body take click on the div so uh focus on the margin here you have just the equal margin 265 by 265 uh to the left and to the right we have just equal margin that's why this box is in center so also you can just use for this a short way to take this box in center margin you can say just zero and auto save this and a refresh so you can see there is no changes so it means that's just working perfectly so this video is just going to be very lengthy uh, i'm just going to end this video here so in next video i will come back we'll just discuss about pairing so till next class or till next video try to just create a div and apply some margin from different ways that we have discussed inside this class have a nice time and see you